HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Midfielders are Sydney McDonald, Cameron McDonald, Tiffany McCullis, Maria Vassington, Olivia O'Connor, and Kelly Title. Your attackers are Lily York, Lydia Rudden, and Natalie Cockins. On defense, Sarah Bernardo, Hannah Ionelli, and in that is the sophomore sensation, Juliana Lucas. The uh, Norwood starters as well we got number four mary lee on defense brianna leblanc on attack rose campbell on attack number 11 molly Mendeling on attack rory cover on attack marion donovan on attack and goal zoe irving on defense hope ford and sam reen for norwood and also maggie curran is in the starting rotation as well at midfield and your other midfielder is Aaron Wagner for the Norwood Mustangs. 25 minutes on the clock. It's two 25-minute halves. And we are ready to get underway between the 10 and 6 Hopkinton Hillers and the 4 and 10 Norwood Mustangs. And here we go. The Hillers working left to right across your screen. Natalie Hawkins starts off with possession. Pass up front over to Title. And now up behind the net is Lily York. It is a windy day, clouds in the sky, no rain expected, but of course the weather lately has been unpredictable, but certainly some big wind gusts out there today. Olivia O'Connor with the pass over. As the Hillers working in the offensive zone, Lily York. Out in front, shot, goal, none other than Lydia Rudden to make it one to nothing, just 41 seconds into action. She has just been sensational. She's broken a number of school records. She surpassed uh, 100 goals not too long ago. It's 1-0 Hillers. And the faceoff is knocked down by Olivia O'Connor, picked up by Norwood. Here comes the Mustangs driving into Hillers' territory. With possession, that's Maggie Curran. Be with you for Hillers girls across John Ritz on camera. Great save there by Bert. the goaltender Juliana Lucas, who denies Maggie Curran. And it is going to be Hillers ball. Well, part of the Hillers success, or a large part, has been the goaltending. Juliana Lucas has done a great job this season. Here comes the Hillers driving up into Norwood territory with possession. Cameron McDonald. Out in front, and now taking it in front of the net was McCullis. Loose ball picked up by Norwood. Slipped out of the net of McCullis. Rose Campbell picked it up, but we do have a whistle. Norwood will have possession. And it is dropped, but quickly picked up by Aaron Wagner for Norwood. Now with possession, Hope Ford. Pass along the near side over to Mary Lee. There goes Lee, taking a bit of contact there from Calkins. Dropped out around midfield, and the Hillers have it picked up by McCullis. Tiffany McCullis rushing up. McCullis with the pass back to Olivia O'Connor. And now it's Calkins. 
And now rushing in for the shot there is Cameron McDonald, and just like that, it's 2 nothing. Cameron McDonald with the netter. 2 nothing hop. That goal comes with 22-32 left in the first half. The assist was by Coggins. It's back to midfield we go. with a class act move. Congratulating the Norwood seniors as well during the senior day festivities. With possession, McEulis over to the near side now, title. Up behind the net, that's Lily York. York trying to bring it around. Was able to find Cameron McDonald. Now it's out to Lydia Ruddin. Look out for Ruddin with the long distance shots. She is just a sniper out there. Ruddin with the pass over to Olivia O'Connor. Just such a smart player as well. She doesn't take unneeded risks. Takes her time with it and distributes the ball nicely. And now Lily York out in front, runs into traffic. It's knocked out of her net. And now it's knocked out by Calkins, but we do have a whistle. It was picked up by Rose Campbell for Norwood, and then Calkins knocked it out to draw the whistle. It is going to stay with Norwood. Pass up over to Molly Manling. Manling up the near side, there she goes. And she runs into Olivia O'Connor there, who knocks it out, but out of play. Norwood will keep possession. Four minutes into action here at Hopkinton. It's a 2-0 lead for the Hillers. With possession, Carduo Davy. Davy with the pass up along the far side. And now it's Aaron Wagner as the sun's starting to peek out a little bit here on this nice Friday evening. Molly Mantling with possession. Over fire is an attempt to get it over to Aaron Wagner, but it's picked up by Brianna LeBlanc. Norwood working around the back of the net. Pass over to LeBlanc. LeBlanc running into Tiffany McCullis. Actually, that was uh, N.I. and Nelly, rather. Norwood having trouble getting it in front of the net. Miller is defending their zone well. Here's a potential opportunity here, but no, she's boxed out. So up behind the net she goes. It's Maggie Curran with possession. She'll swing it around over fires Erin Wagner. Loose ball. And it's picked up by Rory Cover. Pass up to Marion Donovan. And now it's loose once again. And batted up in the air. And now it's batted around the turf. And it looks like Sydney McDonald had a hold on it, but was unable to keep control. And now Anna Ionelli trying to net it up, but the contact draws the whistle. It will be Hiller's ball. Here goes Hopkinton. And that was Lily York running right up, trying to fire the shot off. Hiller's keep possession as Hawkins was there. Out in front, opportunity, goal, Cameron McDonald with her second goal of the day. Comes with 18.58 left. Cameron McDonald strikes again, a great feed from Calkins. So the Hillers striking for their third time today. Established possession. They're gonna net one. Sydney McDonald with control. Up to Cameron McDonald. Now to Ruddin. Ruddin fires it in front. A beauty of a pass over to the title. We'll get it out to McEulis. Now McEulis centers it up 
to O'Connor. Rudden finds her teammate Cameron McDonald along the corner. McDonald will take it back out along the arc. Here goes Olivia O'Connor out in front. Opportunity, shot goal, McEulis. Tiffany McEulis with 18.26 left, making it 4 0. Well, the key to the Hillers' success this season has just been ball control and just terrific ball distribution. They don't take unneeded shots. They wait for the opportunity where they have it in front of the net. And they position themselves perfectly. Olivia O'Connor in the center circle for the Hillers. Up against Maggie Curran. And O'Connor getting the job done on the faceoff once again. Here comes the Hillers quick on the attack. Taking it behind the net is Cameron McDonald. She'll feed it out to Calkins, and now Rudden with possession. Olivia O'Connor. Pass over to Kelly Title. Now Cameron McDonald. Back to Calkins. Calkins gonna swing it around. She's looking for a shot here, but realized it was traffic. Great pass, however, and putting it in, Olivia O'Connor. Well, Caucus has wrapped up, has uh, racked up a couple of assists, and racks up another one there with a great feed to Olivia O'Connor. So that score comes with 17:42 left. Have that down as the uh, fifth Hiller's goal. Scoreboard saying four not there right now though. Hopefully uh, we'll make the correction soon. Hiller is with possession off the face off once again. Behind the net, Lily York. Over to Title. It's Olivia O'Connor, now Lydia Rudden. And there's a shot. Out in front, here's Lydia Rudden, shot, it's blocked. Secondary shot in, Natalie Cockins. Comes with 16.57 left. Cockins striking again to make it six to nothing, Hillers. Domination here in this first half. Well, I think with the way this game's going, everybody is going to get in there. And right now, Norwood's gonna take a timeout. They need to talk things over. 16.57 left to go in the first half. The Hillers six, Norwood nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Lacrosse on HCAN. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen driver surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Off the timeout, 6 nothing Hillers. 16.57 left to go in the first half. Tom Nappy on the call for Hillers Girls Lacrosse Senior Night. John Ritz on camera, happy to be with you on this Friday evening. And it's been a great start for the Hillers. And they're just gonna try to keep adding on here. I mean, get those early scores and everybody's gonna get a taste of the action, but take advantage while you can. Olivia O'Connor flips it up and wins the faceoff. She is dominating on the faceoffs today. Lydia Rudden with a pass over, loose ball. It is picked up by Abigail Cassidy. Just recently hopped into the game. Back to Olivia O'Connor now. 
fired out to the far side by McCullis over to Calkins. Around the net they go. Now Abigail Cassidy with possession drops it once again and some trouble there. Teammate's going to come try to pick it up. And now getting in on the action is Kelly Title. And swiped out by Cassidy. Title with the pass over. And here goes Cameron McDonald. I have to tell you, I like what these officials are doing out there. They're letting these girls play. They're not calling every bit of contact. They're going to they're gonna let some things go here in this, and they should because all the contact has been reasonable, and it's they're just playing a competitive game right now. Cockins with the pass over to Lydia Rudden. Rudden fires it out to O'Connor. Out in front, shot in. Cameron McDonald sniping another one. If you get her in front of the net, she just snipes it right in. I could barely see that shot. She had some velocity on that thing. Seven to nothing, Hopkinton. 15.39 left. Back to midfield we go. Olivia O'Connor has been great on the faceoff so far. Of course, the other day we had Hiller's Boys Lacrosse Senior Night, Andrew Paleko breaking a thousand career faceoff wins. That is just tremendous. McCullis over to Abigail Cassidy. We had three games for you this past Wednesday, all against Dedham, baseball, softball, and boys lacrosse. You can find all the highlights on our website, hcam.tv. Olivia O'Connor. Pass over to McCullis. Up behind the net now, over to Title. Run in with possession. 15 minutes and counting left to go in the first half. A 7 nothing lead for the Hillers. Now look out, here comes Cameron McDonald. She sniped in a hat trick already today. Three goals on the day for Cameron McDonald. Knocked out of the net of Abigail Cassidy. So Abigail Cassidy, she's a sophomore, and she's out there getting some experience right now. Not typically in a starting fold, but she's going to get some playing time today. And she's one of the up-and-coming players to look out for. Right in with the pass over to O'Connor. And now it's Cameron McDonald. McDonald fires it out in front. Great feed to Cockins, who feeds the net for goal number eight. 14 14 left to go. Natalie Cockins has her second goal of the day. And if my calculations are correct, she's already racked up eight points. I believe I, I got her down for three assists. So back to midfield we go, and that gives us a chance to remind you, HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Olivia O'Connor facing off against Maggie Curran. Olivia's been dominating the face-off so far. Let's see if she'll uh, take this one. She'll swipe it up in the air, and Cockins pulls it down. Over to McDonald. McDonald, the feed out to Olivia O'Connor. Now Cockins once again. Over to Cassidy. Lydia Rudden. Now with possession, Jessica Ionelli feeds it out to Cameron McDonald. Here's Dacey, Catherine Dacey. Over to Calkins, up behind the net, now Rudden. Look out for Rudd behind the net. She's known to run out and fire one. Olivia O'Connor out to Cassidy. She dropped it, but picked it back up. Now contested. Ball. Nice job boxing out the defender and getting it over towards Olivia O'Connor. 
Oilers keep possession off the whistle. O'Connor at a free position. Taking her time with it, no reason to rush here. Runs out in front and quickly runs into traffic, but a good feed over to Cameron McDonald. Now Lydia Rudden going to run in and we'll have a whistle here. Rudd's going to come out of free position. And this is a very good free position for Rudd. And she's going to run up and try to fire one right in. There. Yeah. Did she fire that one in or did she pass it? And I believe it was Rudd who put that in. Cockets was right in the corner. But it happened so fast, I wasn't sure if Rudd got a quick pass off to Cockets or she fired it in. But we'll give it to Lydia Rudd for now. I believe it was Lydia Run who fired it in, but it was great placement by Calkins. She was just waiting in a wide open spot on the side of the net. Nine nothing Hillers, and John's saying uh, Lydia Run fired it in, so we'll take his word for it. John's typically not wrong. Here comes Norwood up the far side. Aaron Wagner drops a loose ball, and we have a whistle here. Possession belongs to the Mustangs. 12-20 and counting left to go in this first half. 9-0 lead for the Hillers. Norwood trying to find the net for the first time. And it's dropped by Aaron Wagner, but there was some contact there, so that's going to draw a whistle. Can't have that body contact. Aaron Wagner coming out of free position here. And what do we have here? False start. <laughs> Wagner with the pass over to her right. Maggie Curry now runs into traffic, takes it back out. Pass over to LeBlanc, and it's dropped. Here comes the Hillers. Cameron McDonald with possession. A little misfire there to Cassidy. Loose ball along the near side. And heavily contested is Mary Lee. Nice job by Catherine Dacey hustling up the field to contest Lee. Possession will stay with Norwood. Mary Lee with possession. Fires it back over to Hope Ford. And now it is Marion Donovan. And Donovan loses it. Hillers have it. Picked up by Olivia O'Connor. Feed up to Cockins. Rudden trying to place herself in front of the net. Now it's back to O'Connor. Here's Abigail Cassidy. Over to Cameron McDonald. Nice reach up and pull down by Dacey. Taking it out now is Ionelli. Cameron McDonald feeds it over to Olivia O'Connor. Back to McDonald. Now O'Connor. Abigail Cassidy. Over to Cameron McDonald, and it's knocked out of her net. Loose ball picked up by Norwood. Mary Lee was there and had the nice knockdown. Misfire though to Jessica Keller or Jesse Keller, excuse me. So it's Hiller's ball. Now well, if you're Norwood, you got to maintain possession. You can't have the sloppy passing, especially trailing nine to nothing. Catherine Dacey rushing up. AC fires it out to Ionelli. Well, part of the Hillers' approach that's been so successful for them is just how aggressive they play and just how much speed they have, too, running the field. They're just so quick to get to the ball. Lydia Rudden fires it out. Cameron McDonald with a snipe, and it's in. 10-0 Hillers. 
And the clock gonna keep running with the 10 nothing lead. Goal came with about 8.57 left. Cameron McDonald just gets the ball out of her net so quickly. All kinds of velocity on her shots. That's her fourth goal today. Padding the stats. Olivia O'Connor knocks it up and takes it herself. Nice face-off win there. In and out of the net of Sydney McDonald. She'll bat it around a little bit. Bats it forward. Still staying with it. And then it's picked up by, I believe uh, that was uh, Catherine Kaylee who just hopped into the game. Kelly, excuse me. Lydia Rudden with the pass over to Ionelli. A little misfire there to Worrell, but she picks it up. Now behind the net, that's Cassidy. Over to Cameron McDonald, Rudden. It's out to Olivia O'Connor. Now Cameron McDonald. Out to Clockins. Now the feed is to Olivia O'Connor. Killers taking their time with it. They got no reason to rush. They have the comfortable 10 0 lead. Sun glaring out once again. There is some uh, clouds that come by every once in a while, cover up the sun, but right now some bright sunshine on the field. A stop and cheer. It is going to stay with. It's going to be Norwood possession. Molly Manling with possession. Norwood, they have to get it out of their zone. They're taking a little too much time behind the net there. They have to be a little more aggressive getting it into Hiller's territory. Nearly intercepted by Cameron McDonald. Loose ball. And it is picked up by a Hiller and Ionelli. Here comes Hopkins and Lydia Rudden with possession. She was trying to run up and fire a shot off, but ran into some traffic and said, you know what, no reason to rush this shot. Obviously, if it was a two to one kind of game, she might have took the opportunity there, but you got that 10 goal lead. No reason to rush shots, keep possession. You're winning the possession battle. Norwood's having a tough time maintaining any possession. Olivia O'Connor out to Cameron McDonald. Here's Rudden. Rudden with the shot. A little misfire there, but the Hillers will keep it. Hawkins will take it out. up to Cameron McDonald. We have all kinds of uh, games coming up next week for you too. The last official week of the spring sports regular season. On Monday, Larry will be at the Hillers baseball game right here on the turf fields. That game starts at 6 p.m. against Medfield. Then Tuesday, we'll have a double dose of Hillers sports. We'll have baseball and boys lacrosse, both 345 starts. We got Norwood on Thursday. That's baseball and softball. And that's the last week of the spring sports regular season. And every single Hillers team has qualified for the postseason. So we'll certainly have some postseason action for you as well. And there's another goal. Olivia O'Connor with 432 left to go. Fires it in, making it 11 to nothing Hillers. Midfield we go. Hiller domination here on Senior Day.
everybody getting a taste of the action out there for the Hillers. Less than four minutes left to go in this first half. Here comes Norwood trying to establish something. Aaron Wagner with possession. Wagner up behind the net. Possession now, it's Jesse Keller. Well, these Hillers defenders just so well positioned. They give Norwood all kinds of fits trying to establish themselves in front of the net. Taking it out is Wagner. And a ball knocked loose and it's taken by Coggins. He's gonna draw a push there. <laughs> And the official had a duck out of the way of that one. She'll start from free position. Here comes the Hillers on the attack. Loose ball picked up by Rudden. Less than three minutes left to go now. Cameron McDonald. That's in this first half. Ianelli. Over to Eliza Worrell. Now behind the net, Abigail Cassidy. Billy York. The Hillers are just uh, passing it around right now. And waiting for that open opportunity. Wind continuing to blow here at the turf fields. Up to 19 mile an hour gusts in the area. High wind warning out there today. But it is expected to be a nice Memorial Day weekend, fortunately. Of course, the Memorial Day festivities will take place in Hopkinton. HCAM will have coverage of those. And we're actually going to try to go live as well from the town common. Lily York with possession. That ceremony set to take place at about noon. And we have a save here by the Norwood goaltender. So Irving. It will remain Mustang's possession. Approaching a minute left. Along the near side, Lydia Rudden gets in there to contest. Caitlin Barry, the Hillers head coach, has just done such a tremendous job with this program and implementing just great strategy on both sides of the ball. Last year, the Hillers girls made the playoffs and they lost in the first round. They'd like to go a little further this year. Right in with possession, the pass over. That's uh, Eliza Worrell closing in, drawing contact. 15 seconds and counting left to go in this first half, an 11 0 Hillers lead. At a free position here, this is Eliza Worrell. Good opportunity to run up and take a shot. There she goes, it is in goal, Hillers. That went off the post, but crossed the line. And right at the end of the first half, Eliza Worrell makes it 12 to nothing, Hopkinton. The second half coming up next on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. We are set for the second half. The Hillers with a nice, comfortable 12 0 lead. And we're going to see a new goaltender for the Hillers. We're going to see Samantha Altman, the other sophomore goalkeeper. She'll get some experience in net for the Hillers as we switch sides. 
It will be a running clock throughout the course of the second half, unless Norwood gets within 10. Cameron McDonald in the center circle. She'll flip it back over to Clockins. Yeah, clock never started. There we go. Clockins. Pass up over to Cassidy. Now McDonald. Hiller is now working right to left across your screen. Along the far side, over to McDonald, Cassidy. There goes Lydia Rudden. Hillers have maintained possession throughout most of this game. Ionelli with a shot. Loose ball out in front. Goaltender was able to deflect that one, and it was, was that flipped in? Uh, I think it was flipped just over the net. Is going to remain Hiller's ball. Free position behind the net. There goes Jessica Ionelli. Or actually, was that Norwood possession? Norwood has it now. Knocked loose once again. And it's taken by the Hillers as Tiffany McHugh is able to pick it up. Lydia Rudden with possession. Allie Cockins out to Lydia Rudden. Now McHugh's. Catherine Dacey. Cassidy swings it around over to Ionelli. And once again, there's McCullis. Clockins. Cameron McDonald now. Closing in, trying to put some pressure on. Fires it in front, and there's another goal, Natalie Coggins. Good feed by Cameron McDonald. That goal comes with 22.37 left to go in the second half. 13-0 lead for the Hillers. Face off at midfield, and this time Calkins takes it. There she goes. Lydia running now. Now to Ionelli. Along the far side. Swinging it around to McCullis. Now Lydia Rudden. To Kelly Title. And you know, with the short roster that the Hillers have, obviously they have to keep some of the starters in the game throughout the remainder. It's not like the boys team who has a pretty big roster. Boys team the other day after some domination against Norton. They brought in a number of JV players as well. I don't know. I don't think the Hillers have that luxury today. Lydia Rudden trying to set it up in front to Jessica and Nelly. It got away, but it's picked up along the far side by McCullis. Rockins with possession. She's looking for another goal, I think. To Lydia Rudden, who has a 
drop, but it quickly picks it up. Good feed. Out in front, McEulis. She didn't want to take the shot, a little too much traffic. So she popped it out to Catherine Dacey. And when you have the comfortable lead, there's no reason to rush a shot. Keep possession. And just avoid letting Norwood get the ball, really. Norwood has it here. So it was taken by Aaron Wagner, who will rush up the near side. Wagner being contested by Kelly Title. Now swarmed by Ehlers. Loose ball once again. And it's bad around Lydia Rudden getting in there, and it's taken back by Aaron Wagner. Aaron Wagner has really been the key for Norwood to have any kind of possession at all. And the Hillers JV team is actually playing next against Norwood. So that's why you're not going to see any of them in this game. Because they need to play their game. Up around the net, Carduo Davey. And counting left to go in the second half. Narrowly intercepted along the far side by Olivia O'Connor. And now she's in there contesting. And loose ball still. It is picked up by Brianna LeBlanc for Norwood. Maggie Curran. At a free position, Maggie Curran, an opportunity to give Norwood their first score here. And that Samantha Altman for the Hillers, getting some experience in the second half, and she'll have to make a save here. The rush in, the shot, and it's a misfire. Norwood maintains possession. 18 minutes and counting now, left to go in this game. Hiller's up 13 to nothing over Norwood. Grana LeBlanc over to Donovan. Out to Maggie Curran. Bobbled in front of the net. Hiller's have it. Here comes Hopkinton, an open opportunity here. McCullis, Rudden. Rudden will hang on to it. Over to the far side, Ty and Ellie. Behind the net now to Calkins. Out in front, title. Dacey along the far side, over to Ionelli. Back behind the net they go. Well, the possession time in this game severely favoring the Ailers, that's for sure. I'd say Norwood has had maybe three minutes of possession. Five or so minutes we've played. With possession for the Hillers, Jessica and Ellie now over to Lydia Rudden. Rudden takes it out, title. Dacey. Rushing in, there's a shot deflected, and it's scooped up by Ionelli behind the net. In and out of the net of title. Pass over to Ionelli. Here is Dacey. Title now. trying to 
trying to close in. Back to run in. And she's contested in front. And that was a high net there. So Lydia Rudden going to come out of free position. She'll have a glamorous opportunity here. Here she goes, shot in with ease. 14 to nothing, Illers. The goal comes with 14.41 left. Hopkinton Illers domination. Lydia Rudden with her second, third goal of the day. So she has a hat trick as well. So who will be at center field this time for the Hillers? It will be uh, Natalie Coggins. Getting some good face-off experience. Olivia O'Connor was just tremendous on the face-offs in the first half, which allowed the Hillers to have a whole lot of possession time. Here goes Norwood. And a misfire there, picked up by Sarah Bernardo. Bernardo feeds it over to Sydney McDonald. Now it's Olivia O'Connor, just recently hopped back into the game. Out in front to Lydia Rudden. 14-0 lead for the Hillers. We're in the second half, closing in on 13 minutes left to go. Pass by Abigail Cassidy back to Rudden. Rudden finds Ionelli. They ring it around the net. Rudden out in front. Misfire there. It's picked up by Hawkins. Rudden now with possession. And we have another goal. And that was Natalie Hawkins with the goal there. That comes with 12.23 left to go. 15-0 lead for the Hillers. And she is Continuing to rack up the points today. She had three assists in the first half and goal wise, that was goal number four for Hawkins. So she has the hat trick plus one. The Hillers girls have one more game left in the regular season. It's a road game. And we get a push there. I don't think the official liked that much. Hiller's ball. Kelly Title. Pass up over to Cassidy. Near side, Title. Now Rudden. Worrell along the far side. And we'll swing it around the net. Lydia Rudden. It's out to Worrell. And now it's Kelly Title. Drop there by Cassidy. We'll pick it back up. Hillers taking their time with it, just keeping possession really, and obviously uh, maintaining a 
shutout is something to be proud about. So I'm sure the Hillers would uh, like to keep the score similar to what it is now. Of course, with a few more goals added. Rudden fires it out over to Dacey. Now it's title. Less than 10 minutes left to go in regulation. Lydia Rudden with possession. Out in front. And contested there was Ionelli. Loose ball, and Ionelli is able to somehow keep it away from the goaltender. And that was a nice job by Ionelli, just speeding out in front and ripping away possession from Zoe Irving. So the Hillers keep it in the Norwood zone. Run in with a slight misfire in the direction of Eliza Orell. Now it's Norwood possession off the whistle. Loose ball, flipped up by Title, And it's now taken by the Hillers. Nice job by Sarah Bernardo getting in there. On the far side, long pass. And did that go in? Yes, it did. She was looking for Sydney McDonald in front of the net. But ends up putting it in instead. They'll take it. 16-0 Hopkinton. Well, I guess you can't say any goal is a mistake, but that was something. That's the longest goal of the day. I want to say it was Kelly Title. Ooh, hard contact there. Ryan Ellie has it. Goes Catherine Dacey. Taking it out, Cassidy. And a Worrell. Title. Hawkins feeds it behind the net. Lydia running along the near side. Out in front, Abigail Cassidy. Dropped and picked up again by Title. Hawkins over to Rudden. Rudden was trying to set it up in front. It was deflected away, but she is quick to get to it. Zionelli. Out in front, loose ball, and it is scooped away by Cassidy. Nice job by Cassidy, scooping it towards Dacey. There's Lydia Rudden. Out in front, and it's taken by the goaltender. Take you through the TVL girls lacrosse stats in just a moment. Norwood trying to fight into Hiller's territory, and we have a stoppage here. So the girls lacrosse standings as we get towards the end of the regular season. Westwood at the top of the TVL large. They're actually the TVL large champs with an 18 and one record. Hopkinton 10 and six is Norwood trying for a shot here. And a save! What a beauty of a save by Samantha Altman. Halston's nine and seven, Medfield six and ten, Norwood four and ten, Ashland three and twelve. 
We'll get the TVL small as well as the Hillers work back into Norwood territory. And the TVL small, it's Dover Sherborne 13 and 3, Medway 11 and 5, Dedham 3 and 13, and Norton 1 and 13. So the Hillers, Halston, and Westwood have all clinched playoff spots in the TVL large, and then in the TVL small, it's Dover Sherborne and Medway who have clinched playoff spots so far. Less than five minutes left to go. The Hillers leading Norwood 16 to nothing. Just Guy and Ellie with possession. And that's out to Kelly Title. Now along the near side, Lydia Rudden. Here's Calkins. Burrell. Closing in, shot, goal, Liza Burrell. Comes with 4.23 left, a nice shot by Eliza Worrell. She just bounced that thing right in. 17 to nothing, Hillers. Well, Hillers put up 12 in the first half, adding five more here in the second half. Of course, they slowed down the shooting a little bit and passed it around, get some time off the clock and took advantage of having the possession advantage. And now it's stolen away by Kelly Title. Rudden with the pass up the near side of Calkins, now it's back to Rudden. 3.30 and counting left to go. So the Hillers improved to 11 and 6 on the season. With just one more game left to go for regular season play, and then it's playoff time. Running with the feet out to Worrell. Drop picked up by Dacey. Pass over by Calkins up the near side to Worrell. Now over to Rudden. Knocked loose. And Norwood has it. It was picked up by Manling. Here's Campbell. Just past the reach of McDonald. Bat it around and picked up. Here comes Maggie Curran. Good feed there. Shot, what a save. Samantha Altman with a couple of great saves in the second half. Norwood is desperately just trying to break the shutout, but Samantha Altman has other ideas. Pass the reach of Lydia Rudden, less than two minutes left now. It'll be Norwood possession. Drop picked up, Hopkinton ball, Liza Worrell collects. Pass the reach of title, now it's picked up once again and the shot. That is in, Catherine Dacey scoops it up and scores it up. 18 to nothing, Hillers. The goal comes with 121 left. That clock keeps moving. If the lead's at 10 or more, that clock keeps going. I'd say that's a good rule because when you have a competitive disadvantage like Norwood has against Hopkinton. That clock should keep moving because you could have uh, some injuries up there or even a more higher scoring game, which in Norwood's case, you certainly would not want in this scenario. Norwood's a fairly new girls across program, so they're just, uh, Breaking in to the lacrosse world. Norwood has it, less than 30 seconds left.
Trying to break the shutout, and they will. Maggie Curran scoring the first and only goal for Norwood. And that should just about do it. They're not going to get the face off done in time. So this game is going to end with the Hopkinton Hillers victorious over the Norwood Mustangs. The final score, Hopkinton 18, Norwood 1. Norwood falls to 4 and 11 on the season. The Hillers go into their last game of the regular season with 11 wins and six losses. The final score for the final time. Hopkinton takes down Norwood here at the turf fields, 18 to one. For John Ritz on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton and Hillers Girls Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Take care, enjoy your Memorial Day weekend, and we'll talk to you again soon.